Oh, sorry. My nose is itchy. But keep it rolling. Yeah. Fuck. The first item is the Stussy... Wait. Wait, what am I talking about? <laughs> Okay, yeah, 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 we got this, we got this, we got this, we got this. Alright guys, welcome back to our next video. Um, we thought we'd come back with a new type of video. Well, not really new, but new for us. Where we talk more about our recent pickups slash items that we've been wearing a lot lately. Uh, I mean, it's autumn time now, so it's always a good time to layer up. Especially in London, where it's starting to get cold and windy. So yeah, I mean, passing it on to Francis. So yeah, pretty much we're going to break down each item into sections. First section being the top section which would contain hoodies, shirts, t-shirts and outerwear. Section section would be trousers, be it jeans, uh, cargoes, whatever. And third section would be trainers or shoes, whichever we decide to choose. And yeah, um, shout out to Jehu Keller, which I think we kind of got the idea from for, to make this video because his video was like really chill and we're kind of going for a chill vibe this time. So just sit back and relax and enjoy. Okay. Yeah, so for the first item is the it's from the Stussy Spring 19 collection where they came out with three neutral tone colored long sleeves with a parody graphic. Um, I purchased the black, grey and white colorway of the long sleeves. Um, the parody that's behind the graphic is that the S and I are actually in, in the reverse order which is reminiscent of the Issei Sport graphic which came from the Issei Miyake sub label um, and yeah that's kind of what the, the distinctive feature that I found from the long sleeve which I um, drew myself towards and is one long sleeve that I've been wearing very recently like I've just been easily able to wear it into any incorporate it into any of my fits and it's been a, uh, it's been just a nice long sleeve to wear. So for the next uh, item that I've, I've been wearing quite regularly recently is the Cavent Hands Tee, which came out in I think around which I, I think I purchased around autumn winter eighteen. Um, the thing that stuck out to me with this tee is that is the bold romantic print of like two humans about to touch each other. Um, it's definitely a head turn on. Uh, nice ball printer a uh, printed tee to add to my collection of printed tees that I, I own and it's also just a decent black tee that i can incorporate in any fit that i need need to incorporate in so yeah i think for the fourth item of my tops uh has been like a big regular wear regular wear and that's rayon shirts specifically from supreme um i've got one of Rayon shirts from Supreme, which is the cherry shirt. I think came out in autumn, winter eighty. I'm not sure to be honest, but you can like check that for yourself. But the, the shirt that I got is the uh, Belle Lugosi shirt from the their spring summer drop. I think I'm not too sure of that either. It's, it did come in the summer because when I tried to get it, it was just it was just a hassle because I was like in a different location. So yeah, what stuck out of this this shirt is the the pinkish purple that um, they've coloured Bella Lugosi, who is Dracula in this case. They're referencing um, the, Dra the I think the f earliest Dracula film that came out in black and white, but I didn't really like the black and white version of this shirt, so went with the purple one, because I think it just suits my skin tone the best. Um, the shirt fits very flowy, so you can always like play with the um, shape, the silhouette of it, and is a dope aspect that I, I enjoy about uh, short sleeve revered shirts and would recommend to cop especially even for resale which is what I did next piece <laughs> so for the third item is this grey C2H4 multi pocket cable data data cable hoodie they're a tech wear kind of brand and uh, it contains two zipper pockets to enclose uh, bottom closure pockets which have been like extremely useful when you need to store your, your your stash and on that note I've been actually been able to store keys phone I, basically I haven't been able to use uh, I've been using this hoodie whenever I don't need to use my tote bag so yeah it's a really utilitarian style hoodie um, it fits very oversized though when I got the small it was kind of form-fitting but I think the fit the size I got which is a medium uh, I can wear the hoodie in a very oversized manner and the waist can also be cinched using that 
data cable as the hoodie suggests um, you can like play with the fit as in you can have like kind of like a beer belly action going on with the hoodie or you can also make it really like loose which I prefer so I don't really cinch my weight the waist of the hoodie so yeah it's pretty much what the hoodie is about uh, very oversized and uh, useful pocket hoodie and over to the next item so moving on to my next piece, which is actually a sweatshirt that I'm wearing right now. It's by Willy Trevario, and it's from his Full Winter 18 collection. And I managed to purchase it earlier this year, so early 2019. Um, I've gotten a lot of wears out of it. Fits great, boxy, oversized, um, right up my alley. Um, actually, within his collection, there's a few garments which really embody, you know, workwear type S clothing. And this is one of those pieces. Um, I mean, so the graphic kind of gives it that vibe already where I'm um, not sure what it says right now because I'm pretty much looking upside down but you'll be able to see in the b-roll and secondly um, there's actually these black uh, strips which uh, ravel around the sweatshirt and it's supposed to I guess be a replication of high-vis jackets where they resemble the reflective pieces um, on those jackets so I guess uh, it's quite a cool touch I think very unique and just gives it a bit of edge, a bit of an edgy look actually. So yeah, a very solid piece, I'd say. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, moving on next is actually uh, one of my uh, other favorite sweatshirts, which I've actually just come to recently wear, even though I purchased it back in the summer, and it's by uh, actually YouTuber Owen Hyatt. He released his own collection, which is from his brand Colette Hyatt, uh, back in spring, summer of this year actually, yeah. So this was one of the pieces he released and I've actually been looking for a very nice like knitted jacquard sweatshirt and came across this and it is a very nice piece, it fits very well. I would say one thing is that it fits a bit short but then again I got a medium so I guess I could have gone for a large but I did want to go for a more uh, form fitted sweatshirt, nothing too like, nothing too oversized and too baggy and this really fits the bill, it goes great um, with my outfits. And yeah, actually one um, interesting thing about this uh, piece is that the design is actually woven into the fabric. I mean, that's the jacquard, obviously. But um, the design actually resembles uh, a cathedral. I don't know if it's a cathedral in Russia or where, but I mean, yeah, that's really, that's really it. Um, moving on to hoodies. Uh, one hoodie in particular that I you know, really like the look of is this piece from Isemiaki. Uh, the Homplice line. Um, I know this has been, I guess, more of a spoken topic on YouTube. A lot of you know people been going onto this, mostly raving on about the pleated trousers. But um, I mean, I kind of I opted for the hoodie. I saw this actually on a uh, retailer uh, called LNCC. Uh, they have a lot of good collections on there, and I saw this for thirty percent off, and I was like, you know what? have to grab it. I mean, it is a brown color. I wouldn't really kind of, you know, stretch towards the color brown because I don't think it really matches personally like my skin and like my type of clothes. But I don't know, this really kind of strikes out to me and it, if you wear it alone, it's a really nice standalone piece. Um, the way it kind of fits to the body, to me, is not what I'm really slightly, slightly used to. The sleeves actually kind of taper down um, towards the wrist, which I find really strange because it tapers down quite narrowly and the upper half kind of kind of balloons out it's a bit a bit of a strange fit but i really like it uh, i guess in some ways it's a slightly avant-garde but it's nothing too crazy and um actually when i wore this for the first time um i thought it fit i thought the fabric would feel a bit you know rigid and stuff but it actually feels really soft and light which is really great i guess good to wear on those nice you know spring nights slash full nights, you know, when the weather's not too cold. So yeah, now onto the outerwear piece, pieces that I've uh, been recently wearing. One being the uh, 78 Stitches sampled, um, I guess workwear, herringbone stitched um, blue jacket that um, I've been wearing in the fall kind of season which we're in currently. Um, it, I don't really wear it. I don't really wear it during the summer, so I've been being able. To, I'm happy to be able to rock it out now. Um, it's a jacket that reminds me of the cray green, um, I guess, stripe, uh, 
padded jacket that they have in plethora of colors, colorways. Um, it's very military styled and uh, a piece that I can easily and seamlessly, or I just say, I'll just say, I'll just say seamlessly, um, incorporate in my aesthetic or style or however you want to call it. Um, it's really dope in the way it's cut. Uh, you get like weird asymmetric cuts on the bottom of the jacket near the waist and um, it's just a dope ass jacket to be honest. I, I, I just can't help myself but keep wearing it because it's just warm and sick. So yeah. <laughs> And for the last part of the um, outerwear pieces that I've been regularly wearing are is the Maharishi fatigue jacket in this black and white um, grid printed, well, I, don't, I would say yeah, grid printed um, uh, pattern that, you, that it has on all over the jacket. Uh, it's very thin, so I've been able to wear it throughout summer and also during uh, fall because I can also layer up with it, uh, with pieces underneath it. So, yes, yeah, made by Majo Tech, which does like seamless performance military uh, pieces. And so I think they just basically got that uh, standard uh, jacket from that brand or company and just put their Maharishi twist onto it. And it's been really like, like it has like subtle um, logoing or print on it that I prefer to stay as subtle so makes it easy for me to incorporate into my I guess work wear slash military wear aesthetic and yeah I mean nothing much to say but other than also the pockets also are really sick because like I can there's like I think uh, four pockets that you can put multiple stuff into so I love pockets so yeah essentially dope jacket for me Alright, so next piece is actually, um, once again, something I've been looking for for the past couple months. Managed to grab it from the Essence sale uh, back in back in the summer, once again. Um, so yeah, this is actually a jacket from Hugo, which is a sub-label of Hugo Boss, I believe. And i um, not sure what the exact piece is called, but I've been looking for like a formal, slim, fit-in type jacket which will go over well like a t-shirt or whatnot and this fits the bill once again um, it comes with a solid metal zipper and the fit it's slim fitted fits well uh, not too long on the body and yeah the cotton is actually really nice um, feels like a suit jacket actually the cotton the fabric itself and yeah that's about it I do tend to wear this uh, as part of a more of a smart casual type outfit um, so yeah that's really it mm. the final uh, jacket I'm going to show is this amazing jacket amazing 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 jacket from undercover uh, once again I managed to just, uh, pick this off uh, pick this up from the essence cell uh, from this summer and it is from once again spring summer 19 collection by Jun Takahashi and yeah he actually based this collection of the cult film The Warriors where he depicted his own set of gangs uh, which in this case was uh, portrayed through the runway models um, each actually had their own unique set of outfits and everything from their accessories um, down to their actions and mannerisms were also inspired from that um, from the film in my opinion this is uh, not only is this a cool piece but the way he's portrayed it all was very creative and a very fun way I guess of um, depicting a film through the use of clothing which once again goes to show how great of a designer he is I love I love Jinta Kahashi and the fact that he created this jacket I mean the jacket itself um, is a mix between a down jacket and a bomber jacket in a sense that um, you can see the I guess the the zippers on the sides and the zipper on the front as well very heavy duty um, those kind of give it the bomber esque features and then as you'll see in the B roll there's um, like a crazy like uh, psychedelic type print on the back which is very trippy so yeah the jacket itself because it's a mix between a bomber and a down jacket it fits I guess a bit shorter than a typical jacket would fit. Um, but the plus side is that it's very warm, very nice jacket and great to wear during this time of the month though. So. 
So yeah, as we uh, transition from the top sections of things I've been wearing, I've been wearing recently to the bottom section. Um, to start off with the bottom with bottoms would be the Levi's 953. Uh, I guess you'd call it trousers. Um, also known as the Peter trousers, as you can tell. Uh, there's a lot of like stains and creases and just wear on the on my Peter trousers that I've also tailored. I think I've cut half. Uh, I've cut an inch off from the length and also uh, tapered it from the knees. I think an inch as well. So they're not actually true Peter trousers, but they're form fitting to my own like taste and so yeah man like a really standard uh thick cotton uh not cotton thick canvas so we'll thin after many washes and we'll break in a lot easier easily so yeah i mean can't be a cream trouser that you can also just wear any situation so yeah um the next piece that i've been wearing regularly is the Levi's 505 jean called Roy's. I purchased, I purchased them off eBay for, I think, actually, never mind about the price. Purchased them from eBay and they were like, they were fairly worn. They weren't too worn, so vintage vibes. But I think the main influence for why I got these is because I um, saw so Pierre, you know, one day wearing them and he, he went with Rico and Ramones. And I was like, damn, they puddle really well. So I was like, let me give give it give them a play. And they fit, they fit, to be fair, they do fit wide on me, but I could, so I could like tailor them in terms of lengthwise to make them look more, I guess, um, fit me more well. Cause they, they stack, but they don't stack too much. So when I wear my Jordan ones, they, they stack, they stack really well. Cause it's almost like they don't, they stack quite seamless. So. Yeah, so main point is they, they stack well with like high tops and stack kind of harder with low tops. So moving on to my next pair of uh, pants, I guess it's not really a pants, more of a track pant, um, is actually the Kiko uh, called Stadinoff and A6 collab, which launched back in, or well, this particular pair back in spring summer 19. Um, managed to get these from Browns, um, I think, uh, for retail price. Uh, Great pair once again, very comfortable to wear, easy to wear, and they go well with, I'd say more of the slimmer type shoes such as the undercover day breaks, those are a good example. Um, yeah, they fit slim straight, come with this interesting, uh, I guess, indigo, not purple, I'd say indigo, contrast stitching, and they have the A6 logo uh, printed on the front as well as uh, Kiko's own little emblem back on the back where there's some numbers which detail when the collection actually drops, so June 2019, I believe, is what it refers to. Uh, so yeah, once again, great piece to wear. Um, I throw these on whenever I have to rush out of the house, really, and yeah, I mean, more comfortable to wear than, than jeans, I guess. Um, yeah, there's a track pants, nothing really much to say, so yeah. It's the next section is the trainers and accessories section, and to start off with that, would be none other than the Low Heart Rico and Ramones, uh, which I've heavily been wearing, as you can tell from the scuffs, creases, and just even dirt on laces. Um, yeah, I mean, I think when I first wore them, the soles felt like cement blocks, and I think over time, um, I don't know if it's a placebo thing, but over time, I've They've actually felt a lot more form fit and comfortable in terms of the sole and just the canvas on the upper. Um, can't go wrong with some big trainers when you're wearing like wide as trousers, which I think go well with each other, but never would try to wear these with like skinnies or something like that, because that's, you look like, like um, you literally look like a clown. Right. Um, but yeah, like, no. Nah. It's just a classic silhouette by Rick Owens and then and something that they'll keep reproducing and is very underground in my opinion. So yeah, um another pair of trainer that I've been wearing regularly. Well not these but my beaters, but I've also been wearing these whenever it's a good day. Um is Jordan One trainer. Uh specifically the Baron ones, which 
I think I got in 2016, so I've had these for a while and I've kind of coveted them uh, in a very um, in a very like protective way. Um, but with creases, you can't really prevent. And I think with the creases on these Jordans, and I've I've actually grown to enjoy them more. I used to like my Jordans like crisp and no creasing at all. So um, those days are over, and you did, and today's the day where I just like want to beat these up but it's hard because I've had them for a while um, as you can tell like my drawings have also started yellowing and the midsole which is like a sick feature which happens hopefully soles don't detach cross fingers and can wear these for a decade or so hopefully <laughs> but yeah um, dope has silhouette fits well with um, basically all the trousers that I've been wearing like regularly recently um, even skinnies but I want to say skinnies, but I, I, I te technically wear slims if I want to wear something more fitting. But yeah, sick Jordans basically. Extremely coming to the end of um, my recent regularly worn and used items, uh, and to end it off, it's gonna be a it's gonna be a bag, uh, specifically a North Face bag, and a North Face bag from Japan, the purple label. Uh, shout out to, you know, Crispy, you know who you are. Yeah, um, I mean, the material on the bag is very, it's, it's surprisingly not not cotton or canvas. It's this like waterproof um, material. Like it's very, so when I, I've been able to use this in the most recent situations where it's been pouring out, flipping out, like I can't even like fathom like how much it's been pouring out, but I mean, you can't fathom how much it's been pouring out, but this bag has stand the test of the elements and it's been the chosen tote or should I say tote bag that I've been using lately and yeah nothing much else. Huh? I also like the saltiness of also the logoing. Can't really tell it's this low long face. Except if you turn the bag around, obviously you'll see like purple label North Face by Nananaka. But yeah, cool item to have. It's purple and yeah, I think it's my new favourite colour as well. So yeah. Great. It's been a pleasure, you know, showing all my pieces that I've been wearing recently and over to Peter to show his here. Ooh.